Ms. Computer. Got it. Hello, and here I am today with Margie Kerr. Now, Margie has just finished up working with me, so I thought I'd get her to do a testimonial for me, a video one. Um, so, Margie, tell me, what made you seek help at the outset? Uh, I think because I'd sort of tried so many options and gone down the path of too many specialists, not really understanding the situation that I was having with my gut and bowel. Um, and then my sister suggested I speak to yourself. So finally, I made contact. Um, and how long have you had the problem for? Well, I was born with uh, a bowel issue. It took me a long time to actually use my bowels when I was a baby. I didn't actually use them properly until I started walking. Mm -hmm. So I've always had issues with the bowels my entire life that would sort of come and go in waves of causing great concern and then being okay. So pretty much all my life. Okay, that's a long time. Um, mm. So tell me, what were your biggest symptoms? Um well, you could never really predict how I would be emptying out, so to speak. Some days it would be a rush of uh, waterfalls. Other days there would be absolutely nothing. Some days there'd be just little pellets. Um, I'd have constant reflux and uh, feeling really quite unwell um, after eating and basically living on Gaviscon and um, having uh, colonoscopies just to check there was nothing else sinister going on. Oh, gee, that's, that's, uh, that still makes me go, oh, gee, um, even after <laughs> yeah. this time. So tell me, um, what was your experience working with me? Well, I think that the biggest experience was learning about uh, SIBO yeah. and, um, and the fact that the GPs and specialists are aware of it but never really directing me to that area and educating me about SIBO because as soon as it was um, brought to my attention by yourself and it just all made sense and straight away um, I knew what I had been eating that would cause grief and what I um, could eat that was fine um, and all the twists and turns that come with it um, of trying to navigate my system of uh, competing with each other. So my internals would always be competing. Um, and it just sort of gave a, a new way to look at it and to actually realise there was a, a suggestion other than antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And how long have we worked together? Because all of that, that condition you had going on was quite complex at the start. We, we run and then we'd fall. And so it was yeah. quite complex. So how long do you think? It was, I think it was over 12 months that we'd been working together, but it's not something that you can fix overnight because there's a lot of different variations and there's a lot of different phases to follow um, and different areas that need to sort of be looked at after you've uh, gotten to a point where you seem to be okay and then suddenly you might have a relapse or what have you. So it's, it's definitely something that um, does take time, but you've got to have the patience and, and dedication to do it. And it does work very much so. so. Tell me, what was one thing you took away from the process? Um, one thing I took away. Well, um, that well, I guess one of the main things I took away that I wasn't going mad, um, feeling the way I was feeling all the time, um, and sort of working out what I can eat that's not going to cause disruption and discomfort, um, and that was one of the biggest things I learned and the the stage where I am now is that I'm slowly able to reintroduce what I haven't been able to have and in some ways some things work and in other ways they don't mm -hmm. agree with me still so it was a huge educational um, experience that sort of allowed me to listen to my body and not question what my body was telling me yeah good and it's a process isn't it um yeah now this one you sort of alluded to before but has your yeah. recovery been a straight line no not at all up and down backwards forwards yeah. sideways um but we always manage to get back to that core path which yeah. i think is the the main thing and i think the interesting thing for me is when there was a lot of stress happening in your life that would, yep. so it really gave us that clear connection between your amounts of stress and how your bowel works so it was really good um so Absolutely. what what's one piece of advice that you would give somebody who's got gut health problems about seeking health what's one thing you would tell them well i would definitely tell them to speak to the detective 
uh, digestive detective that is my digestive angel which I have to say um, I would definitely seek help with it because there are answers in other ways and you can feel better and you can enjoy food and find a way that it works for your body to eat and digest and uh, just not have to rely on all the time antibiotics and you know, I'm not saying no, there's always a, a, a you know, time and a place for colonoscopies and antibiotics, but when you've been having them for years upon years and it's just masking the situation, sometimes you've got to delve a bit deeper and I would definitely say to do that, mm -hmm. but also have patience with it because it's not going to happen overnight and it does take time and dedication, but it is really worth it because it does, at the end of the day, help you to enjoy food and have a better life. Yeah. And it's really changed your life. So that oh, totally. That in every way. Totally. Which yeah, is great. absolutely. Um, and yes. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I just, I would say just don't hesitate. Just give it a go. And, and you're in very safe hands with you, Ange, and, and your passion and dedication and support is just, you know, it, it's such a, a treasure to have that and to know that you're there along the way and the fact that you like to see people get results. Mm, so, do. you know, yeah, and, and you do. You do. You get results. Absolutely, you get results. Well, thank you for um, doing this for me. I really appreciate it. And That's can I just okay. say one of the reasons that Margie has had such a great response is because she really went in and did all the work that was required and it wasn't easy. You know, when you've been suffering for a, with a bowel condition for a really long time, it, it takes a special, cert, uh, a, a special sort of um, stamina and precision to keep going year after year. So I'm really pleased that Margie has, you know, really stuck it out because she's got the results that she really wants. It, it really has changed the way um, she lives her life, um, which was amazing to see where she was at the outset. So I'm really pleased. With you. Thank you, Margie, once again, for being such a, a, a really great... Um, oh. Well, thank you. Honestly, I couldn't have done it without you. Perfect. Well, thanks so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Okay.